morning, Grizzlies. My name is Mariana Quesada. And I'm Jessica Lopez. And these are your morning announcements. But first, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Weather today is sunny with the high of 63, and this weekend more of the same. Sunny, but colder with the highs in the mid-60s. Cal State Fullerton Empowerment Conference. All 9th, 10th, and 11th grade boys, there will be a special male youth empowerment conference at Cal State Fullerton on Friday, January 17th. If you are interested, come by the Higher Ed Center to pick up a permission slip. Space is limited, so first come, first serve. Paletas. ¿Quién quiere paletas? The avid class is selling paletas during both lunches. Please show your support and indulge in a sweet, tasty, and sabrosa paleta. Senior Packet. Attention all seniors. The Senior Packet deadline is January 17th. That's in two weeks. So if you still want to get all your Senior Package goodies, make sure to pay up. Also, Grand Night tickets are still on sale. The deadline for Grand Night Disney ticket are also January 17th. Hey, Mariana, have you been working on your portfolio? I've only done the English section. Oh, that's not good. For the next few weeks, the newsroom will be sharing portfolio tips provided by our wonderful English teacher, Ms. Pruden. This week's portfolio tip is to have your portfolio bookmarked for easy access to regularly update it. To bookmark on Chromebooks, open your portfolio's main page, go to the top address bar, click on the star to save it, then move the bookmark around on your bookmark bar as needed. For more portfolio help, see any of your teachers or the portfolio handbook on the school's main page. Now that's it for today, Grizzlies. Enjoy your weekend and a report on soccer by our own Emily Lopez just for you. Now, now roll, roll that, that tape, tape, Melissa. Bye. What we do here is go back, 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 back. My name is Diego Navarro. Uh, my name is Diego Jimenez. My name is Gabriel Conchez. My name is Gustavo Adame. Uh, my name is Juan Martinez. Anthony Paredes. Alfredo Cortez. I'm in boys soccer. And I play soccer. I play soccer. What inspired me to play soccer was my dad. He's a huge role model for me. He showed me how to like play. He would take time with me. My goal is to continue to continue playing soccer in college. My biggest accomplishment was the CIF semifinal last year. Um, we made a huge run. I mean, it didn't go the way we wanted to, but I mean, hopefully that will change for this year. And my goals for this year is just to win league and make sure that this year is successful. Uh, before, I listen to music and I get a good warm up so I can have a good game. And after, I just have a cool down and I just relax. Um, just work hard. Um, be like proud of what you do, like work hard, just don't give up. Last year in CIF, we lost. This year, I still think we can do better and go even further, maybe even win. When I step out on the field during a game, I, all I do is focus on the game and I can't remind of any stress, um, anything that during the week has, that has uh, bothered me, and I just make sure that we get the win. Uh, the past three years have been uh, really good for me, uh, just being around my teammates and uh, having like a second family to come to at school uh, just really helped and being able to play and win league and hopefully win CIF this year. Uh, yeah. For any freshmen or just any underclassmen, uh, I would just suggest that they work really hard in practice and even outside of school and make sure that they have good grades so that they can make it to the top and be in the starting level. When I step on the field, I feel amazing, feels good. Um, it's just the best feeling ever. The four years that I have been in soccer, um, it's been amazing every year. You know, Messi, my junior, over my injury, it was really sad and heartbreak, heartbreaking for me. But overall, it was, it's been good. It's been a good ride. But accomplishing this year is just um, building a bigger bond. And then it Before season started, I had an injured back, and I was gonna be out for a long time. But luckily, I got back from it, and now here I am playing once again. I stay focused and I like praying before a game knowing that um, everything's going to be alright. I feel focused, I feel 
confident knowing that I'm doing it for the people I love. What I feel when I step on the field is all my problems usually just go away. Uh, it's just 11 versus 11, nothing, just your team, nothing else to worry about. The biggest life lesson I've learned is uh, usually when we lose, uh, not take it as a loss, take it as a lesson, and then come back to improve. Uh, made me a better person uh, just because the discipline was always there, uh, always getting on time in practice, uh, paying attention to the coach, and then just applying the hard work in games. Accomplishments to win CIF and season. It's been very weird because freshman year I played middle and senior year I'm playing like anywhere in the defense. The tournament we made it to the final and then we lost. But that made me realize that I don't like losing so we have to like fish harder with my team and focus and concentrate more. To come support our games and like to cheer cheer us on because it helps. Uh, just for everyone to show some show us support this season and that hopefully we win it all this year. You need to keep up a positive mindset and go further this year. All right, we have a good team. You need to focus up and come support. Come support us every home game. Yeah, that means very. That means a lot to us. Come out and support all the games, um, especially during league and especially during CIF. Uh, we need the support. Three, one, two, three, Grizzlies!